Hello everyone, my name is Damian Shibu and I'm an Applications Engineer with Yokogawa. Today I'll be demonstrating how to make cycle by cycle measurements with a power analyzer, in specific a PX8000 power scope. Cycle by cycle measurements are a method by which the voltage, current, power, and other parameters are calculated for each cycle of the AC input signal with respect to the zero crossing of the synchronization source signal. It can be used for a variety of different applications and in various industries. For example, it can be used to monitor a characteristic of a motor startup sequence. It gives you the ability to measure how much energy it takes for a motor to start up and also the amount of time it takes to get to a steady state. It can also be used with various transient type applications, such as the lighting industry. Engineers can easily identify the location of transients by looking at each cycle of the measurement. For this demonstration, I'll be connecting a homegrown demo load box that has a single phase output to the PX8000 power analyzer inputs. There are a few preliminary steps that should be taken before I begin my measurements. Firstly, I want to make sure that all my connections are properly connected and secure. You should be very careful when making these connections and make sure that no live circuit is running when connecting the wires. Secondly, you want to make sure you set all your voltage and current ranges according to the rating of your signal. If you're unsure what the signal is rated for, then the safest bet is just use the auto range function on the instruments, which can be used for both the voltage and the current measurements. Next, I will set up my time per division scale. Since I'll be measuring a 120 volt 60 hertz signal, I know the speed of the signal is about 16.67 milliseconds. I also know that the screen on the PX8000 is set up to have 10 divisions. I will go ahead and set my time per division to 20 milliseconds per division. This will allow me to obtain my cycle measurements over a 200 millisecond window. So I should get approximately about 11 cycles. Now I'll go ahead and set up the parameters for my cycle by cycle measurements. I simply go into the measure menu, select mode, select cycle statistics, and then go into the measure setup. And then I want to go ahead and select RMS. Then I go into the copy to, and I select any other channels that I would like to make RMS measurements on. Once this is done, I just simply press execute. Now the last and final step is selecting a trace that I would like to use as my reference for making my cycle by cycle measurements. In this case, since I'm using a single phase demo load box, I'm gonna go ahead and select U1, which is my voltage from channel one. Now I am ready to make my cycle by cycle measurements. I simply press the start stop button and now my instrument is making measurements. It is now time to calculate and display my results. I simply press the start stop button again to stop taking measurements. Then I go back into the measure menu and all I have to do is press execute measure and my cycle by cycle measurements are now being calculated. Now that it has finished calculating, I simply press display results and you can see my cycle by cycle measurements here. In addition to just capturing the measurement, I can also save the results to a USB flash memory drive that I have inserted in the USB peripheral ports on the side of the instrument. I simply go into the file menu, select others, make sure my data type is set to measure, which it already is in this case, go into file list, select USB as my location, and then press execute save. And now I have saved my cycle by cycle measurements onto my USB flash memory drive. As you can see, with a few easy steps, you can make cycle by cycle measurements using the Yokogawa PX8000 power scope. This feature can be used for a variety of different applications in various industries. Thank you for watching this video and please visit us on our website, tmi.yokogawa.com.